Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the class. Okay, how are you all? I hope you all are fine at home. Yes. Okay, so first we'll get into our lesson that. So, what are we learning, children? Yes, we are learning about the zoo. Zoo means the place where all the different types of animals live. Okay. So in our previous class, we have seen that here the one boy whose name is Abhi. Yes. So Abhi wanted to go to the picnic, and on that day he got up uh, early in the morning, and he was getting ready to go to the picnic. He asked all his things to his mother, and he started from the home. But just little late, he missed his van. and when he came on to the road the van was moving from there and he was shouting to stop stop and there uh they asked the question that uh, why did abhi get up in the morning who is sweety and why did abhi not take sweety with him yes so these three answers we have given abhi got up early in the morning to go to the picnic and sweety is abhi's kitten name of the kitten and abhi did not take sweety with him because he is going to see all the animals there in the zoo and there was asked some more questions where are the children going so the children are going to the picnic so here on the page number 2 in our previous class which we have seen so here this is the page number 2 true yes so here they asked the question where are the children going and what is the boy saying see here this boy what he is saying he is saying stop stop to whom he is saying he is showing his hand to the towards the van it means he wants to get into the van so what he is taking with him children yes he is taking with him one bag to play there Okay, so these all things we have seen alone in our previous class. Now today we are going to see this boy name is Abhi, and he wants to go to the picnic. So uh, here, Abhi can catch or reach the van. Will he go to the picnic? That we are going to see in our today's class. So let's first take out your English textbooks and page number three. Okay, let's come to the page number three, children. so here the page number is 3 okay you have to take out the page number 3 and the lesson name is abhi goes to zoo okay so abhi also is going to the zoo now here the van was moving see the van was moving and abhi is saying stop stop yes stop stop salim uncle please stop shouted abhi when the van was moving Abhi came on to the road, and he saw that the van was moving, and he was shouting, "Stop! Stop! Salim Uncle! Who is Salim Uncle? Children here? Yes, Salim Uncle means the driver who is driving the bus van. Okay, stop! Shouted Abhi. Abhi was shouting to Salim Uncle, "Please stop, Uncle! Please stop!" Then stop! Stop! Abhi is coming. Shouted the children. See here, all the children who are going from the school to the zoo, they all are sitting into the van, and they saw Abhi that he is shouting to the Salim uncle, to the driver who is driving the bus. So all the children, when they saw Abhi, they also were saying, they also were shouting to the Salim uncle, uncle, stop van, Abhi is coming. Then Salim, who is Salim, the driver of the van. who is driving the bus he stopped the van who stopped the van children yes salim uncle the driver of the bus he stopped the van abhi got into the van when the bus is stopped and van is stopped there then abhi got into the bus and lo the van was going to the zoo and here they have got attention from all and now this van was going to the zoo where are all these children are going children yes they are all going to the zoo then the next sound is pom 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 it is a horn of a van 
so here all children were enjoying in the bus and they are going to the zoo and they are very happy to go to the see all the different types of animals in the zoo and they all are going to the zoo so here abhi got the van and he is going to the zoo now okay so children now let's we are going to see that what are the different uh, types of animals the children are seeing there in the zoo and what is the picture what is there in the zoo so how they are enjoying so these all things we are going to see in our next page so let's take out all of you page number 4 okay children so here it is the page number 4 okay so this is the page number 4 what is given here look at the picture and read the words okay so abhi and his classmates are now at the zoo so they all the children who were coming in the van they reached the zoo and see all the students all the children are here in the zoo they are very happy to see all the different types of animals in the zoo and they are seeing with happily okay so here they have given some words which we have to read and what are the animals are looking here in the zoo let's see so on the page number 4 there are given some animals which we are seeing here in the zoo so here the first one is what is this children it has a long trunk big ears small eyes what it is which animal it is children yes it is an elephant do we see the elephants near our near our houses no no yes they live in the jungle jungles so it is an elephant okay next here one tree is there and what is there on the tree children yes one squirrel is climbing on a tree what it is which animal it is yes it is a squirrel you might be seen squirrels here and there they jump and run from one place to another they climb on the trees squirrel means udta okay so squirrel and the next one is which animal is this it is a reptile reptile means which crawl on the land okay bhumi pe na park unta veltadi what it is yes it is a snake what it is snake okay next in the middle of a tree one animal is sitting here yes which animal is this yes it is a kangaroo which animal is this kangaroo which has one pocket attached to its stomach understood and why it is given yes when this baby of the kangaroo it keeps in his pocket only understood so kangaroo has the pocket to its stomach so this is a kangaroo next year under the tree there are two animals here one white in color everybody likes is it very soft it has a soft fur on its body which animal is this yes it is a rabbit and the next one is the other side of this tree which animal is this see one of the boy is feeding the leaves to this animal which animal is this yes it is a deer which animal is this deer let's see any more animals are here looking yes here see on the tree one more what it is which is in green in color and it has the red beak what it is it is a bird no which bird it is children which has the red beak and this bird can speak also you know that's why it is called the talkative bird which bird it is yes it is a parrot so on the page number 4 we have seen the different types of animals here so what what are that yes animal is elephant snake squirrel kangaroo rabbit deer and parrot yes can you see any more animals are here looking no no then let's see here anything else is given no so here one shop which is given which is out of the zoo which shop it is xerox shop x e r o x xerox you know children why this xerox shop is kept here 
yes if we need any photos or any xerox papers no so we'll get it very soon from here so this that's why this xerox shop is kept here out of the zoo so on the page number i hope you all have understood what are the different types of animals are here understood there is an elephant a snake squirrel kangaroo parrot okay and here deer rabbit okay so this all we have seen on the page number 4 now let's see there are many more other animals also are there in the zoo which we are going to see now on the page number 5 okay so come fast to the page number 5 children now we are going to see the different types of animals and different kinds of animals more animals which are there in the zoo okay so let's come to the page number 5 now okay here now it is a page number 5 which page number is this 5 okay now see here there are many other animals also are looking here in the zoo it is very exciting are you feeling happy by seeing them when you you also go to visit the zoo you also might be seen this kind of animals there so here let's see what are the other animals are there in the zoo what what animals are looking here children yes here the first we'll see which animal is this yes it is a tiger you know tiger children which is brown in color and it ha it has the black stripes on its body understood tiger is brown in color and it has the black stripes on its body and it is called our national animal which is our national animal children yes tiger is our national animal understood next come so okay which animal is this children which runs very fast yes it is a horse which animal is this horse next come to the right side okay yes which animal is this children we see it in the desert places yes it is a camel which has the hump here it is called the hump of a camel okay and this is a camel next one here what is there on the tree yes it is a monkey every day we see monkeys in our houses near our houses no they chatter they jump from one place to another they come into our houses also sometimes and every time they roam here and there here and there so every day we are seeing the monkeys near our houses in our surroundings they jump on the trees from one branch to another so which animal is this monkey next come here which has the tallest neck which animal is this children yes it is a giraffe which animal is this giraffe giraffe has the tallest neck no it has the tallest tall long neck not tallest long neck and it is called the tallest animal understood which has the long neck and it is called the tallest animal understood and giraffe has the patches on its body these are the patches where we have seen here the tiger it has the stripes on its body but here giraffe has the patches on its body it has the long neck and it is the tallest animal it eats the grass and leaves of a tree understood next any more animals are looking here yes see here near the pond here it is a water place so which animal is this children yes it is a lion which animal is this it is a lion and it is known the king of the jungle which animal is called the king of the jungle yes lion is called the king of the jungle now here abhi and his friends have come to the zoo so here it is given zoo z o o zoo what it is z o o zoo and next to see here this is the picture of outside of the zoo here we can see there are some people who are standing in a queue queue means they are standing in the line for what they are standing here in the line 
to take the ticket and that ticket here who is sitting near the gate who it is yes he is postman uncle so these people who are wanted to visit the zoo or those who want to see the animals in the zoo they have to take first entry ticket to get into the zoo and that ticket they have to show to the watchman uncle then only they will get the entry into the zoo here so that's why this all people are standing here in the queue queue means line the sequence they are standing in a sequence in line here to take the tickets entry ticket to go into the zoo and next here at the right side where we go to the exhibition or any fairs we see there are the many uh, stalls yes children so here this vendors they are uh, selling the ice cream here juice no so here this man they are selling one man is selling the ice cream the other man is selling here juice and uh, some of the children who are going near to the this uh, shops and they are going to buy it so this all we have seen on the page number 5 and one more thing what it is see here the van is coming no the school van in which abhi and his friends have come to the zoo okay so what animals you have seen on the page number 5 children here yes we have seen here one monkey giraffe camel lion horse and tiger okay so these are the different types of animals which we have seen in the zoo okay so here on the page number 5 they have asked us some questions which we have to answer now what do you see in the picture so what are we seeing in this picture children here we are seeing the different types of animals yes second is what are the children doing then what are the children doing here children they are seeing the different types of animals which are in the zoo and here one boy is feeding also to the deer here what he is feeding yes he is feeding the leaves to the deer okay and the third one is question what is given the third one question is what is the natural home for wild animals so what is their natural animal children these all animals are caught from the forest and they are kept into the zoo so that all the people they can come and see the live animals here in the zoo so these all the animals are brought from the forest so what is the natural house or home for the wild animals is jungle forest so all these animals they live in the jungle so this wild animals natural home is what jungle means forest okay what kind of things do animals need to be happy now these animals are you feeling that these animals are here happy no they are kept here in the zoo they cannot move happily here understood but when they live in the forest they can live there happily with roaming in the forest here and there but here they cannot move they have to live in one place only in some sufficient place understood so if these animals need to be happy we have to send them to their natural homes which is called the jungle or forest so all these animals when we send to their natural homes they will be happy understood so children we have seen here on the page number some of the animals and on the page number 5 also some of the animals which are kept in the zoo understood now in our next class we are going to see that we are going to write what are the different types of animals we have seen here and uh, the different places what are the things we have seen here in this two pages that we are going to write in our next class so till then you have to observe these two pictures and write down in your notebook what are the animals are given here are shown here on these two pages Uh, write down their names in your notebook and learn them okay so i hope you all children have understood the these two pictures which are shown here on these two pages on four, page number 4 and 5 okay so we'll soon meet on our next session in our next class